Hello, Thomas. Welcome to Eurohoops. Uh, I have to ask you about your new life uh, as a Greek. How did all this happen? I don't know. I'm, I'm really happy that it happened, but I'm not sure how it happened still, you know. My, I was completely out of the process, which I liked because I was able to focus on everything that needed to be focused on. But yeah, my agent called and said, you'll be Greek on Friday, and that was it for me. How does it feel to have a new country, a new home? It feels wonderful because I am connected to, to Greece. I, it does have a place in my heart. It does feel like home. And, you know, uh, I could say that into the media and if I went home, I'd feel like a fraud if I didn't actually feel that. But it's really how I feel deep down inside. And, and that's why I'm so happy to, to be here, to have citizenship here um, in a place where, you know, I'm loved and where I love, I love the people. And then also a place I can see myself long term. There are many people who didn't like the fact that a foreign athlete, not just you personally, uh, to get a Greek passport. Did that, does that annoy you? Does it hurt your feelings? No, uh, not at all. I'm, I do my best to put myself in their shoes. You know, they're very proud of their country. So I understand why, you know, you would be against us. And um, I'm no person to tell somebody how to feel or how not to feel. But uh, I understand this, but I also know, uh, more importantly, that there's a lot of people that are on my side and that do support me. And um, everybody that I've had a, a run in with has been so supportive. And um, it means a lot, you know, when you, for me, as a foreigner, to, to come in here and, and be accepted and, and say, hey, this is your home. It means a lot, you know, for, for me and my comfort and, and, you know, how I view this place. You play constantly all year long. You play like a machine, let's say. Uh, what else can we expect? It's the same as last year, you know. I, I will come out here. Um, I will not do more than I am capable of. You know, I will do what Coach Barzokas has. I will lead this team both, you know, by example, but also by emotion, by words. Um, do my best to pick up my teammates, you know, and, and, and this is my job. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, the guy that's gonna take the ball and say, I will score 20 tonight. It's not, it's not me, it's not my job. Uh, my job is to play defense, to set up our offense, to lead the team, and uh, this is a full-time job, <laughs> you know? So this is, this is a full-time job. Uh, we have other guys that, that do, you know, the rebounding, guys that do the scoring, and, and yes, everybody is working together, pitching in on every, everything, but, um, yeah, I think as one of the leaders, this is where most of, you know, the biggest important line. Uh, you signed a new contract. Um, how easy was it for you? Uh, did you hesitate for a moment? Because uh, it's a big deal for a team to offer a four-year extension. Yeah, it is a big deal, and I don't take this lightly. You know, I, this is very special, and what I am and was so happy about, uh, the first day I got the offer, I signed it, you know, and, and it was because uh, they didn't try to mess around with it. They showed me, um, not that I deserve so much respect, but they, they showed me respect by the offer and, and weren't trying to mess around with it. You know, they showed me that they wanted me here and uh, obviously I want to be here. So it, it kind of went hand in hand and, and that meant a lot that the, that the uh, Angelopoulos brothers were, were saying, hey, this is, you know, we, we want you here and, and we're proving it. So I really appreciated that from their side. Um, and yeah, there was no discussion, you know, I, they, I received the offer, I said thank you very much and I signed it. Uh, what about this uh, new team? Uh, is it actually a new team? Uh, it's not easy for any team to lose two of their best players. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, but uh, I think we have rebuilt very strong. Uh, we're very balanced, uh, very strong inside, uh, and especially on the, on the outside and on the perimeter, I think our defenses will be really, really good this year, will be physical. Uh, we'll be able to, to pressure up on the ball, uh, knowing that we have the bigs inside to protect us. And, uh, and on the flip side, I think, uh, you know, Coach Barzokas' system, it speaks for itself. You know, uh, what we've done on offense the last couple of years, uh, it's, it's uh, beautiful to watch. Even as, as somebody that's inside, I'm able to take a step back and watch on the outside, and it's, it's beautiful to watch. And uh, guys are getting just better and better and better at the system. You know, now this is my third year, I'm a lot better at doing what coach says and it being completely natural compared to my first year here and that speaks for a lot of guys. After that big shot of Slukas against Fener for the playoffs, uh, you said that he's your guy. Uh, now who's going to be that guy? Uh, we will see. You know, I think uh, uh, for sure we have a lot of guys that can step up. I think it's not so much like the NBA where you have one guy at the end of the game that is taking all the shots. This isn't how, you know, uh, European basketball in general, you know, works. There's, uh, 
You, you, if you average a certain amount of points, you know, throughout the season, sometimes some nights it's your game, sometimes it's not, and it all evens out, you know. And um, we have a very balanced team this year, and I think what some people might look at as a weakness that we don't have just one single guy to take a shot. I think um, a lot of you know people would say that's actually a strength because there's a lot of different people that can take that shot. Uh, what about the love you get from the fans every time, everywhere? Honestly, I hear Thomas walk up, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. <laughs> what did you do to them and love you so much? Um, I, don't, I don't know, to be honest, I, but, it, but it is special to me. I try to uh, represent and, um, you know, when I, when I step on the court, I'm not just representing Thomas Walkup. I'm representing my family, my friends, you know, people that support me, the fans, you know, and for many different reasons, I try to act and conduct myself in a way that would make people proud. And uh, uh, I do that same when I step on the court and I play, you know, so I hope and I think that I am making them proud. And um, also it helps them. We go to two Final Fours and win a bunch of games and just being a part of somebody or something like that, uh, that also helps. <laughs> Uh, you said that you won the triple doubles, uh, triple crowns, sorry, uh, triple crowns uh, with this team. Uh, is it time? I ask you because things in Greece might not be that easy for Ibiakos this year. Yeah, no, we never thought a triple crown would be easy. You never, uh, they never are. Uh, yeah, so uh, each each uh, trophy is extremely special, you know, and uh, nothing's taken for granted in any situation, any league. And some would say Pena was was down the last two years, and um, that doesn't change anything for us, you know. Uh, uh, somebody very smart, a, a great coach, told me, uh, enjoy every single win because you don't know when the next one's coming, you know. And, and uh, this is this is how we act. So. Um, Triple Crown is a, a whole big picture, but uh, the wins, you know, in between taking it each day by day uh, is the important thing. Uh, if I ask you three Greek words, do you have three words, Greek? Yeah, of course. Not numbers, one, two, three, no. Do you have any difficult words? Uh, I know some bad words. No, no, no. no. I know. Uh, uh, I know how to say random things. Where, where are you from? Okay. A pop we say, you know, I, I know, I know little things like this. Uh, I'm sure you know, you know Greek songs too. No, no, no. Okay. I think this is a little too fast for me. You know, okay. I'm still learning. I'm still at the very beginning. It's the, the songs are a little overwhelming. Okay. You know.